Hello students. Let's continue our journey through understanding quadrilaterals. In the previous videos, we discussed the parallelogram and its properties. Today we are going to discuss a special parallelogram named rhombus. This is a deck of playing cards. See this symbol diamond. It's a parallelogram. Let's compare its sides. In a parallelogram, PQRS, the sides PQ, QR, RS, and SP are equal. Here PQ and QR is a pair of adjacent sides. Another pair of adjacent sides are RS and SP. Since the adjacent sides are equal, parallelogram PQRS is a kite also. That is, PQRS is a parallelogram and also a kite with all sides equal. It is called rhombus. That is, a rhombus is a parallelogram with sides of equal length. So a rhombus has the properties of a parallelogram and also that of a kite. We can draw two diagonals in a rhombus. In rhombus PQRS, PR and QS are the diagonals that meet at O. Since it is a parallelogram, the diagonals bisect each other. That is, OP equals OR, and OQ equals OS. Moreover, it's a kite too. So the diagonals are mutually perpendicular. That is, angle POQ equals angle QOR equals angle ROS equals angle SOP equals 90 degrees. So we can say that the diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular bisectors of each other but they are necessarily not of equal length. Thus today we learned that rhombus is a parallelogram with sides of equal length. The important properties of a rhombus are first, opposite sides are parallel. Second, opposite angles are equal. Third, adjacent angles are supplementary. Fourth, all sides of a rhombus are equal in length. Fifth, Diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other at right angles. Let's see how can we apply these properties to solve a problem. ABCD is a rhombus whose diagonals intersect at O. If AB equals 10 cm, diagonal BD equals 16 cm, find the length of diagonal AC. Given that ABCD is a rhombus whose diagonals AC and BD intersect at O, and the side AB equals 10 cm, and one of the diagonals BD equals 16 cm, we have to find the length of diagonal AC. We know that the diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular bisectors of one another. We have BD equals 16 centimeters. Using the above property, BO equals OD equals 16 by 2 equals 8 centimeters. Also angle AOB equals 90 degrees. That is, triangle AOB is a right angled triangle, which is the key point for finding the length of diagonal AC. Since triangle AOB is a right-angled triangle, we can apply the Pythagoras theorem to find the length of AO. That is, hypotenuse square equals base square plus attitude square. That is, AB square equals AO square plus OB square. Thus, 
That is 10 square equals AO square plus 8 square. 100 equals AO square plus 64. 100 minus 64 equals AO square. That is 36 equals AO square. Or AO square equals 36. Therefore, AO equals square root of 36. AO equals 6 centimeters. Also, the length of OC is 6 centimeters. That is the length of the diagonal. AC equals AO plus OC. AC equals 6 plus 6. That is, AC equals 12 centimeters. Therefore, the length of the diagonal AC is 12 centimeters. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Now check the validity of the following statements. 1. All kites are rhombuses. 2. All rhombuses are kites. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.